Africa to anyway. Okay. Yeah. Today is a feminist day in the world because two years ago a factory in Rana Plaza in Bangladesh fell down and more than 1,000 workers died. Danas je feministički dan u svijetu zato što je prije tri godine u Bangladešu u Rama Placi srušena, to jest srušila se tvornica i mnoge tisuće že, ljudi, većinom žena, su poginule. These women are poor workers of the garment textile industry. These women were working in this dangerous condition because they have no, possi no other possibility to sustain their livings and the one of their families. To su žene koje su radile u tekstilnoj industriji, znači veoma lošim uvjetima koji su bili jedini način da prehrane svoju obitelj. Women are working in dangerous conditions in Bangladesh, but they are also working in dangerous conditions in Kenya, they are also working in dangerous conditions in Mexico, they are also working in dangerous conditions in Croatia. Opasni uvjeti vladali su u Bangladešu, na oni i dalje postoje u Keniji, u Meksiku, u Čileu i također u Hrvatskoj. The idea of this action of feminist caravan uh, came uh, when we were thinking what are we going to do for the fourth international action of the World March of Women. So the World March of Women is a social movement in the world, worldwide. It's very linked to alpha globalization movement. And it gathers women, grassroots women in all the world to challenge patriarchy and capitalism. So the first march was in 2000 and it was World March of Women against violence against women and against poverty. The last meeting was in 2013 in Brazil and we proposed this idea of caravan. I have to say it came from us, young, young women in Europe, that value a lot community life. The feminist caravan have different meanings or um, objectives. One of them is to promote community life between, amongst women. Uh, it's an emancipating uh, tool, I would say, if it's not an ideal for everyone. Uh, being in a caravan, only women is, ha is having to make everything by ourselves. And it's a learning for some of us. Wow, we can do everything. We don't need men, actually. Wow, that's empowering. And community life is also a way to challenge uh, capitalism. Also, major idea of the caravan uh, is to gather more and make more links between feminists having social struggles in the Eastern Europe and the Western Europe. Uh, we are young women, mostly, that promote and, and really work to make this caravan uh, possible. And I think it's also because it's a new generation that we grew up after with another set of minds. So we grew up in a world that is all capitalist. So we want to overpass uh, the difference in history and, and, to, and to really get better to know. I'm, I'm, I'm really... F um, happy to discover the ex-Yugoslavia that I didn't know. I knew a little bit Poland and Romania, but not, not this part of Europe, and what we have in common, what we have different, and how, how we are suffering from the same system. But so the idea is to increase the link to know better, but also to take common actions. So the feminist caravan began for the 8th of March in, uh, in Kurdistan. The Kurdish liberation movement is now very uh, um, full of women, active in it. They have as a value to promote women participation in the fight. We as feminists went to support the women, because we also know that it's in a lot of liberation struggle, women were pushed to be active in the fight, and then when the fight was eventually won, go back to home. Yeah. So, we want to um, have the connection with the Kurdish women to, to support them until it continues. The fight is always for women in mixed struggles, always. Then we went to Greece, um, to Thessaloniki, where we met various struggle of workers. Uh, we went in uh, self-managed communities, we supported uh, self-managed uh, factories. Um, we went to Bucharest where we met with uh, Roma women that could explain us uh, their specific position in society and how they 
challenge sexism and also racism and and we and they explained us the old fight they have about housing because they get evicted from uh, from their home and how um, there is a front of solidarity for housing with Romanian women and men supporting them and taking action together. We went to small villages also, we went to Pirot for instance, a small city in the South Serbia and they there, because the caravan was coming, they made a feminist fair with uh, women selling their products like food or flowers or handcrafts and uh, it was the first event, they made it for the caravan and then the people were saying like it's really good, like there are finally 25 women groups that came to sell their products and we want to promote and to make that each year. So that's for instance a concrete outcome. We promote like financial autonomy of women, for women to be, to be able to sustain their own lives and not depend to men as much as possible, not depend to companies and private big transnational companies, neither depend to states. So how women can uh, find a way to be free in this society. And we really believe in solidarity in this case. Like it's, uh, even if it's small, we are having here, we bought some uh, Ivar from uh, a woman collective in, uh, in Kosovo. It's a woman cooperative. They are, they are making Ivar. Um, we will go to Austria next, next stopover. And we will sell our t-shirt to fundraise the caravan and we will sell the Ivar of the women in Kosovo also as a direct way to be in solidarity with these women. And of course it's very small but it's giving example of how um, solidarity can be made. We are hosted by people, by women that uh, that host us in their city. So either we go to live in families, either we camp in some places, saying that we are not spending a lot of money for all these big actions. We are really like having small costs because we don't have money, so there is no point. But also, I think it's also an ideology. We don't want to go to hostel and being this consume uh, idea. And then it's also complicated, I have to say, on a daily basis because we have been trained by a capitalist system that consuming is a major point of our freedom. So, and it's not because I decide not to consume anymore that I'm not in my body used to. So it's like how from a radical concept that we shouldn't consume, but also like taking in account that we are alienated. We are, we grew up in a culture. We have been repeated uh, many times this and this and not repeated with discourse, but with advertisement everywhere with, with social life. So we get, we try to get rid of this alienation step by step. And as women, it's also very much the case because patriarchy, or patriarchal oppression is really embodied in ourselves. Women don't value themselves. Women don't trust in their capacities. Women don't trust in their freedom to say no, for instance. And, and so we are learning and and, and there is nothing magical, it's through experiences, through discussions, that step by step we are f freeing ourselves. That's why I, I believe a lot in this action, because it also, it's also giving us time to make this process of, of get, reading, of the, get rid of uh, op oppressions or... Yeah, and then it's a journey and we have uh, individual paths, each of us, because we have different experiences of life. And then the collective is really helping because between women, we, we see each other as mirrors. We give uh, each other strength and th this is really important. One issue also for this caravan is that we are uh, witnessing the rise of fascist forces nowadays in Europe. And of course, it goes as a consequence of the uh, economical crisis or uh, transformation of neoliberal system, capitalist system. In France it's very obvious, like we had mass of people against homosexuals and then we had mass of people against migrants and the climate in general is very frightening. So in front of that we need to have enough strength to continue having a resistance. We are uh, conscious of the, the oppression, specific oppression that is made to women in sense of women work more, 
are paid less and own less property. In terms of land, for instance, in the world, women own like 1% of the lands. But there are mostly women working in the fields to grow uh, vegetables and food. So there is a problem, uh, definitely, between women and men in this case, but in general, to whom own what and to who is working for whom. And yeah, the World March of Women tr is tr trying to, to understand what's happening here and there to together find solutions, either small solutions as local resistances, but also like trying to find also global solutions to challenge the system.